All right, today we are going to go through how to implement the filters that we've been making inside of JRiver. Okay, I'll have a few more videos that explain how to do this using different software. But today I just want to focus on JRiver Media Center. Okay, I have version 29. If you have a different version, it really doesn't matter. What we are doing will work across any version. Okay, so what you wanna do first is go up to Tools, go into Options, and then look for your Audio tab. Um, if you already use JRiver, you'll be familiar with this to some degree. Okay, all you want to do is choose your output device. I'm using the ASIO drivers from my M-Track, my M-Track Solo. Uh, down here, I use internal volume and control it from here. This is just the way I have mine set up. You can set yours up differently if you'd like. Next, under General, uh, scroll down to the Features, and then all the way at the bottom of Features, you're going to see the WDM driver, this one right here. So make sure you check this, activate it, and what that's going to do is it will add a device in here, a virtual device that you can use to send your audio signal through JRiver. For example, let me pull my taskbar down here so you can see this. Uh, down here under my speaker icon, I can choose to have the output go to the speakers themselves, you know, directly to the M-Track solo. But since I've activated that WDM driver, I now have JRiver Media Center as an output destination. Okay, so what I could do is I could select this, and now my my Windows output essentially, all the audio coming from my Windows environment now goes out through that virtual device into JRiver. Okay, this is important. Uh, the other thing I could do is, uh, let's just take Tidal for example here. Um, I can send the output from Tidal directly into JRiver and I'm imagining that you can do this with other streaming services as well. Um, title's just the only one I've got, so that's what I use. But you should be able to send the output from any application um, that allows you to do this into JRiver. So you select that, and now the output from Title goes directly through JRiver. Okay. Um, whatever the case is, the idea is that you want to send the audio through JRiver because JRiver is where my filter is loaded. Okay, so under DSP Studio, uh, I have a plugin. Uh, this is a VST plugin called M Convolution Easy. This is a plugin from Melda Production that you can get. I'll put the link in the description to the video here. Uh, this is free. You can pay them, I, I think it's $30 or something like that. It might be a little more, a little less, depending on when you actually visit the website but you can give them a little money and unlock the uh, resizing features like this. You can resize it. Um, some of the plugins in the free suite have the uh, ability to um, perform more advanced functions if you pay for it, but uh, for the intent of doing what we are trying to do here, all you need is the free version of this. You don't have to pay for it. So when you first load it up, uh, what you want to do is make sure that normalize IR loudness is unchecked, just like this. Then you're going to define a custom path. You, you basically just search for your filter wherever you put it. In my case, mine is right here in this folder. And my output is uh, 48,000 here, 48,000 hertz. So I've just selected the one. Uh, from Focus Fidelity here, that's 48K, that matches my output, okay. Then all I have to do is uh, play the audio and it will go through the filter, okay. This is essentially all you have to do. Uh, in order to load your plugins, uh, you, you load them from down here. Uh, installing plugins is very basic, it's the installers work the same way that any other application works. You just run the installer, uh, make sure that the uh, plugins go into a directory that you can find easily. Typically, the uh, 
path is here uh, under C program files, common files, VST3. This one just so happens to be under IK Multimedia because um, for some reason uh, that is the last folder I was in. Okay, but uh, here's the one from Melda Production and it's going to be under Reverb and Convolution Easy here. Okay, so you would just open that and uh, it shows up over here in the list. Now I've got several other ones. I've got Dirac Live. I've got uh, Hang Loose from Accurate Sound. This is HLC. And I have Arc 3 from IK Multimedia. So just to give you a little uh, preview of what that looks like, uh, I ran the uh, uh, measurement suite from Arc 3 and I took measurements and I saved them into the plugin here so I can use Arc as my my room correction solution. Or I can use mconvolution easy. This one is free, again. Um, uh, hang loose uh, costs a little money, but you can load up to six filters in here at a time, adjust their levels so that they're all level matched, and then you can just quickly switch between different filters to A, B them, to compare them. Um, and then of course there's Dirac Live here. And that's pretty much it, okay? Uh, I control my volume from here. I have the volume set at a fixed amount on my speakers, and uh, I just control the volume from here. If you wanted to, you can just max this out and control the volume from your amplifier or whatever it is that you happen to be using. Uh, but that's, that's the basic idea, okay? So what we've done here is we've used a convolution plugin to load the filter into the signal path and so now whatever I play goes out to my speakers corrected.